Good morning, friends and family. Chaplain Joe here. I just first would like to say good morning. Thank you for joining me and having a cup of coffee. And I just want to tell you about the amazing weekend that I had. I met some really amazing people on Saturday. And I believe that's going to be a part of my message this morning. I, I don't want to talk too long. I unfortunately have a have the ability of being long-winded. But um, I attended the uh, Rumble and Glow Car Show in Harrisburg um, as a member of Riders for Christ, Racers for Christ. And we are chaplains. And what do we do? We go out into the world and we represent Jesus Christ. Yes, that's what we do. We don't. We, we don't run a big church. We don't have a big fancy car. We don't, you know, we don't get up on a on a wood box and and, and scream, repent, you're going to burn in hell. You've seen those people on Hollywood Boulevard that do things like that. No, what, what, what a chaplain does is we represent Jesus. And this is how we represent Jesus. We represent Jesus by being the light in the dark. This world is so full of darkness. Suicide's off the, off the charts. Violence is off the charts. Um... Anger, hatred, division, I mean, there's so many things wrong with this world today. And uh, that's what we wanted to kind of look at today. The Lord's commission is to preach the gospel to every creature, is what we're told. Mark 16, 15. So if you're, cre- if you're, if you're a Christian, it's your responsibility to preach the gospel. Now, the world is going to try and tell you a lot of different things. They're going to try to tell you that you don't have the education, that you're not smart enough, um, you're not in the in this sect or this sect or this sect because I don't know where that came from. I don't know where, you know, I talk to quite a few people and, and when I talk to people about faith, I'm discovering that, okay, well, I'm, a, I'm, the, I'm of this, this sect and I'm this sect and I'm this sect and you're Baptist, Lutheran, Protestant, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Baptist, Protestant, Lutheran, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Pentecostal, I'm a... Stop, stop, stop. You don't see Jesus Christ or the apostles talking about that at all in any way. Now, if we keep living with that mindset, we keep living with that mindset, then we're going to keep the amazing gift of salvation, hope, and love of Jesus to ourselves. And that's not what we're supposed to do. It's our commission to preach the gospel to every creature. And I feel like today, uh, you know, my message is also for a lot of you, 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 you church, you church leaders, you religious leaders. I'm going to call you religious leaders. I'm going to call you that. Um, it's our responsibility. It's our responsibility, especially those of you with the with the with the degrees and the education and stuff like that, to take your suit off, hang your suit up, and go out into the world. We have to start doing that, man. They're not going to come into the building. They're not coming into the building. They're not coming to your church. I don't care how many barbecues you throw. I don't care how many you know pamphlets you give out. I don't care how many signs you stick on the boulevard. You're all welcome here. It's not working. It's not working. Now, I met an amazing pastor. I've talked about him before. He realizes this. He realizes this. And he's joining the ranks, man. I believe he's, he's working on his training now. And it's very simple trainings. You know, I discovered God has brought me into the auto world, into the auto car show world, the racing world. And here's the awesome part about that. First of all, everybody in the car world and the racing world are amazing, amazing, amazing people. They are amazing people. And most of your car shows are there to raise money for something amazing. Wounded Warriors, Leukemia Fund, Cancer Fund, Breast Cancer. The automotive world is amazing. And there's millions and millions and millions of people attending these events. That's what's so awesome about Racers and Riders for Christ. Because we, we first of all, we're welcome there. When they see a chaplain there... They just, they are so grateful, especially the promoters and the sponsors and stuff like that. When they see that there's a chaplain at their event, they are so, I can't explain the feeling and the feeling that you get when you're there to represent Jesus Christ. I'm not there to beat you up, to, to read you, to, to take the Bible and use it as a weapon. Again. No, 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 I'm there to, to represent. I'm, I'm there to do what Jesus did. We got to look at Jesus's ministry. What did Jesus do? Jesus didn't go out and buy a big fancy car, big fancy building and start clubs and start this and start. No, he didn't do any of that. He didn't do any of that, man. The people said, Jesus, come, and he went, and he went everywhere. He went to towns. He, I mean, he had, you, you name it, he went. He went. And he didn't say, well, okay, you're not of the Lutheran sect or this sect or that sect. He didn't say any of that at all. So uh, I'm getting oh, long-winded here. I'm really excited about this. And, 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 and I went to a car show this Saturday, and it was amazing, and the people were amazing. And I met a, met a couple of very amazing people. I met one in particular who is a YouTuber, and he has been blessed and given quite a bit of influence and 
he blew my mind. He blew my mind because he reached out in faith and, and, and he shared his faith with me in a very subtle but a very cool way. It's our responsibility as Christians to share the hope and love that we have in our heart with the world, man. It's our responsibility. It's my hope that you listen to this message in its entirety. I hope you don't just shut me off. With that being said, the Lord's Commission to preach the gospel to every creature will never change. It is our dispensation. We have been greatly blessed with the material means, the technology to bring the gospel to all men. More is expected of us than any previous generation. They're not coming into the buildings anymore. We need to take our stuff out of the building and into the mission field. Reach out to me here. Reach out to me. Reach out to me. My email, whatever. Send me a message. We need pastors, preachers, deacons, elders. We need you. We need you. 2,000 events. 2,000 national events. And we only have 300 chaplains to cover the events. So teamrfc.org is where you would want to go. If you don't want to talk to me, that's cool. But message me. Send me something, man, and I'll get you involved. I'll get you the training. And we, it's our responsibility, man. God has given us this gift. And uh, be encouraged today. We got to get to work, kids. We got to get out there and get to work. Every gift that we have is from God, and we all have different talents and God-given gifts, but they are all important and can be used by God's kingdom. That was James 1.17. It tells us to use our gifts. So God bless you. Have a great day today. Do what you can. Get out of the buildings, man. Go into the community. Let's, let's get into the mission field like the apostles and Jesus did. Close your doors, man. Close your doors and get out there.